Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to do another practical. That is the preparation of a blood smear to observe different types of WBC. First, we need to understand what is the composition of uh, blood. Blood is mainly composed of plasma. Plasma it is the liquid portion of the blood that helps to circulate all the components that are present in the blood uh, to all over to all the other parts of the body. Then uh, RBC also present. We know that it is red blood cell. It is red in color, and uh, yeah, and it accounts 40 to 45 percentage of the volume of uh, blood in our body. Next come WBC. They are colorless uh, blood cells, and its uh, amount is uh, less than uh, RBC. Uh, it accounts only one percentage of our blood. And the WBC are of two types, granulocytes and granulocytes. As the name indicates, granulocytes are those WBC which are uh, having so many granules in its cytoplasm. And also they are nucleated. RBC is enucleated, means a mature RBC is enucleated. Granulocytes, which are the granulocytes, basophil, isnophil, and neutrophil. Uh, for uh, easily memorizing uh, these uh, names, we, uh, we can have a code Ben, B E N, Ben, B for basophil, E for isnophil, and N for neutrophil. Then came egg granulocytes. Egg granulocytes means uh, those WBC. Uh, they are uh, devoid of any type of granules in its cytoplasm. They are lymphocytes and monocytes. And the last component that present in the blood is platelets. Platelets is a, a very important uh, portion, when important part of the blood that is helping uh, the blood clotting. Uh, the, without the help of this platelets, blood clotting will not uh, happen whenever a wound occurs in our body. Next, next we are going to see the different functions, uh, functions and importance of different types of WBC. First, we are going to see about the granulocytes. We already have uh, understand that uh, granulocytes are neutrophil, mm, isnophil and basophil. First, we are taking the case of isnophil. What is this percentage in the total WBC uh, present in our body. Uh, it accounts 55 to 70 percentage. And what is the function? It protects our body from infections and also it kills bacteria, fungi and foreign uh, debris, whatever it be. And its appearance is like this, uh, that neutrophil uh, is having uh, more than two lobes. Listen. A neutrophil possess more than two lobes. Here it is with the three. Sometimes it is having four or more. Okay, that is its appearance. Then uh, next one is basophil. Basophil, its percentage is 0.5 to 1 percentage in uh, in the uh, in the total uh, WBC content of our body. What is its function? It produces allergic responses whenever some irritant enters in our body it uh, elicits allergic responses like uh, coughing sneezing or uh, runny nose and what is its appearance uh, we know that it is a granulocytes and uh, uh, as it is a granulocyte and its granules are big and it covers almost all part of its uh, uh, part of that cell uh, and also, its nucleus is horseshoe sh shaped. Uh, even then, it is horseshoe shaped because of the immense presence of these granules. That shape of the nucleus is not visible while we observe this cell under the microscope. It appears roughly a, a blue uh, spherical cell. Next, isnophil. Isnophil. Uh, it accounts 1 to 4 percentage uh, in total WBC. What is its role? Uh, it, uh, um, it also activate when there is parasitic infections 
and also some inflammatory processes inflammation if any type of inflammations happened in our body uh like uh, uh, that like in allergic reactions and what is its appearance it is having two lobes and a connection this is its appearance it's no fit and next uh, uh, we, uh, we we can just know the what is the order of wbc uh, with respect to its uh, uh, number neutrophil is the most abundant and next come lymphocyte and after that came monocyte and uh, uh, after that eosinophil and the last is basophil basophil uh, the number of basophil uh, cells are very less in normal condition and uh, next we are going to understand about agranulocytes agranulocytes they are lymphocytes and monocytes two types and what is the percentage of lymphocyte uh, we already have seen that it uh, with respect to the percentage it come just after neutrophil it accounts 20 to 40 percentage what is its role is very important uh, as it is this much abundant there will be some significance of its immense presence in our body what is that significance it is a very important part of our immune system and this lymphocytes are of two types t cells and b cells so many other things also there we need to understand but now i am not going to that area because of the uh, uh, shortage of time in this section and what is its appearance this lymphocyte it possesses uh, it is an agranulocyte agranulocyte means uh, in the cytoplasm there will not be any uh, granules and its nucleus is almost round and uh, so we can see this cell in this form with a, a cytoplasmic margin around the nucleus then monocyte monocyte accounts 5 to 10 percentage of total wbc and what is its role they are uh, macrophages also uh, whenever a inflammation happens in our body this monocyte uh, arrive to that spot within 8 to uh, 12 hours Uh, and uh, uh, it um, it, it uh, convert into a macrophage or a dendritic cell and uh, elicit a immune response and then uh, destroy that uh, affected or damaged cell okay next we are going to see the materials required for doing uh, this practical for uh, um, preparing the blood smear and to observe the wbc different types of wbc we need two slides a blood lancet also we need then alcohol uh, to disinfect the fig, uh, our finger then cotton lishman stain this is a stain we are using for this practical distilled water petri dish and a beaker okay then we can go and start the practical first we need to prepare the lancet for pricking for that turn its cap and open and then we are going to insert the needle after fixing it we need to press okay then replace the cap over that needle okay then we need to sterilize our finger we can choose either our middle finger or our ring finger with an alcohol before pricking we need to load it by pulling its back and after that we can see some markings in its uh, uh, anterior uh, tip and uh, we can adjust that marking according to the uh, required depth of the prick that we need to make in our finger okay You can adjust that. Then I am going to prick. When pricking, uh, the ideal uh, side is to choose the side of the fingers because uh, that side position uh, will give only less pain. Okay. Then we need to squeeze enough blood. Don't exude the blood from the finger. Then after discarding first drop. Need to place the second drop in the right hand end of this slide, 
and using a spreader slide by keeping it 40 degree angle to touch the margin of the drop to let it to spread and then make a gentle swipe to towards the front and this is the a good smear a good smear looks like in the form of a tongue okay next we need to stain it for that uh, we are taking leishman stain and uh, for staining i am going to keep the slide in a petri dish for convenience and after that i am going to add the stain and uh, while adding we need to add to that much extent it should cover the entire uh, surface of the slide okay enough amount of stain is added then we need to wait for four minutes is very important four minutes we need to wait after that we need to dilute the stain by adding double the amount of distilled water double the amount of distilled water okay after this again we need to wait for correctly 10 minutes correctly 10 minutes after that we need to wash out the excess amount of stain by dipping in water okay then we need to keep it for dry after dry we can observe it under the microscope here uh, we can see a base of fill. We know that uh, the base of fill is having a horseshoe shaped nucleus. But as it is filled with the granules, that horseshoe shaped nucleus is not clear. Okay. Then uh, here we can see again a base of fill. And this is a monocyte. Monocyte uh, is a WBC. It's having a P shaped uh, nucleus. It is uh, very clearly uh, see here. Here uh, we can see uh, a good isnophil. Isnophil with the two lobes and uh, its connectives we can very clearly see here. And uh, to this portion, this is a monocyte, and this is again one isnophil with the two lobes. In this point, uh, again we can see a basophil, uh, then uh, a neutrophil. A three lobuled nucleus uh, we can see in this neutrophil. This is again another neutrophil. Here uh, um, we can see three lobules of nucleus. This is a lymphocyte. Here uh, we can see a very clear monocyte with the P shaped uh, nucleus. Uh, we can see a neutrophil. This is also a neutrophil with the three lobes. This is a monocyte P shaped nucleus. Uh, we can see a very good isnophil. Uh, again, this is also one isnophil uh, with the two lobes and that connecting uh, connecting a point. And uh, this is a neutrophil with the three lobules. Again, neutrophil. This is a monocyte. Isnophil again. Okay. I hope that you all have understood the practical. Thank you.